look at them. They're running. Oh, in the pool! <laughs> It looks like you're about to sneeze. <laughs> oh, I want, I'm not finished yet. Keep filming. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It's gonna be a real serious video. No, I'm kidding. It won't be too serious. Uh, we will be fixing some things in the yard. So we have the horses here at home, uh, the stables, the fields, the arena, everything, the garden, uh, which I feel very lucky about. But the only thing is just, usually when you fix something, because the horses break things, I just, sometimes I'm terrible. Sometimes I have a really good day and I fix it very quickly. And sometimes I have days that, I mean days, months, that I don't fix it. So I said to Matt, let's have a day today that we fix things. He's gonna do it old school, writing down. So the first thing we have to fix as well is the fencing. Fencing, I don't know why, always breaks. I mean, I know why, we have a little Shetland macho. Um, but we have a washing machine for the horse stuff. And now it is clogged, I think. And it has been clogged and it doesn't want to open anymore because of it. And it's been... Three months? I don't know if we're gonna commit to opening that one up. Do you think it will smell terribly? Yes, and I'm only here to film. <laughs> oh yeah, we have also this like where the wash bay is. Uh, it goes with like drains underneath the ground and it's been like kind of clogged as well for a while. I think we're gonna get the, the high pressure hose to kind of try to resolve that. So first thing we're gonna do is fix the clogged drain. This is the crime scene. Here is the drain going through and here we have the stables. So you can see the water from the stables, so like from the rain if there's rain. And there is the, the wash bay, so it will all go through here. Um, now Matt explained to me that I first have to get rid of all this mud, which is hell. And there's a huge spider there. Well, let's get started then. It's not that deep. Careful okay, it doesn't splash. <laughs> So I think this is all stuff that comes out of the, just when you wash the horse, so I'm not sure. Or just happens. And then later when I have this empty, I need to go with the high pressure. Oh. Well, this is why it was clogged, because all this stuff gets stuck in the pipe once. Yeah, well, guess what? Anymore. Guess what's coming out soon? More. Yes. Oh. <laughs> The water is not really going anywhere, so hopefully we get to fix that today. It will be so good though once we're finished with this that you like, oh, now I can no, like finally use it again like normal, everything works. Like it's so easy to let like life get in the way and not fix, fix the things. But it's so good when things work. The only thing that's gonna happen then is you just wait for another thing to break. Yeah. check if something is happening. Nothing. <laughs> He's saying we should maybe do it from that side first. Well, that, 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 that's what the plumber said. I'm a bit worried I'm gonna be like covered. No. Like this? Yeah. Reminds me of that movie Matilda, where they eat like the chocolate cake. Oh yeah, that traumatized me as a child. So I'm currently on the line to the plumber. It's not working out for us, you guys. It's not gonna work. <laughs> so I think we just, it's so annoying. It's such Feeling mess. very defeated. People, this is our messy area. Oh, it's very messy. <laughs> this is where you throw everything and you shut the door. <laughs> oh, my oh my God, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, help me then. Put it down and then go up. It doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. put it down. Yeah, and push. Jesus. It's not going, you need to grab it from there. I am not grabbing the front then, look at that thing. <laughs> yeah. Now okay, we on. are here at the fencing. Look how bent it is. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I think this is why I need to work really hard so I can just hire people. <laughs> A one hit wonder. Hey. But now this thing is stuck. I think I tried to break this. Oh god, the whole pole. Yeah. Hey, see? Is it school dryer or school driver? Driver, because dryer means drying. So I think what we're gonna do next is we have this kind of like area of grass back here that just gets overgrown. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to create a little gate here on this side and block off there the arena so that way when the horses are in this field if we want to we can open this section up and they can kind of like help mow it down put, it's cut it's put, cut mayday yes yeah, so put a handle on this do something here do something my hands are broken okay we finally because they're still with the plumbers is still working it's not working oh. so thank god it's not just us Chase At least ready. one thing. Ta -da -dum -dum. Oh! <laughs> Always. That's what the smart ones. That's what the smart ones do. They just don't go in like that. That's the difference <laughs> between a mare and a gelding. <laughs> Look at them. They're running. Oh, in the poo! <laughs> Ew! I fell in the poo. Look, you ruined the fence. <laughs> Oh, and you stretched it now. Look what you've done. Oh. You deserve that. You've annoyed me all morning. Oh. Oh, God. Right. Thank God, not in the, these stinging plants. Right. So, as you can see, these have been here already since we uh, I think a long, live I think here. 20 years. I think it's all. You can probably clean them, but there's like this wooden stuff behind. I don't know if this is going to be okay enough. You can keep taking them off and putting them on and I'll grab the glue. Because I think if we do the screws, uh, firstly, it's really difficult to actually make a hole. Oh. <laughs> Time to go. Like this? I don't think you really notice or it. Or like this. Like that. Like that? SRVP. So the V is on that side. Yay! Imagine the nail broke. <gasps> I would cry. Okay, finished. So it's another day. The next thing I wanted to do is this thing. This is kind of the tech up area. I mean, it's very messy now. So that is problem number one. And I wanted to one day change it all, make it really nice because now it's like, I mean, this is very handy, but it's not very pretty and it gets like kind of gross very quickly. These are just kind of like things that came out of my old apartment. I want to take everything out um, and clean it first. Radio. Here it's absolute chaos. It's so not that bad. And that's fun for us later. And Matt like took most of the spiders out already, which is nice because then we will save them. And it's also better for me, even though I still see some on the back. Hopefully we get it all nice and clean here. I mean, it should be looking I a bit more like that. Oh, look at that. That's more like it. Smell that? That's, yeah. It smells old. Doesn't smell good. Old and gross. Yeah, it's like an antique store that's wet. <laughs> So Matt is currently um, finishing up with the power hose. Uh, it's already coming up a lot cleaner. Now we have this thing that here, I mean, the garage is a mess again. I know we've done multiple videos about cleaning it up. It just keeps happening. We have a washing machine there for the horse stuff. It's not opening anymore. I don't know if I need to just throw it out or if we can keep it. But there is an issue because it hasn't opened for months, I think two, three months, and there's stuff in there. It must be awful and it must, oh no, focus on the mess, and it must smell, I don't know, like something. The only way I think I can open it, because it happened once before, is to open this thing up and then I need to open this so the water will run out. So worried about what I'm gonna experience. Okay, there we go. Oh god, it's coming down. Oh! <laughs> Ew, the smell. Oh no. At least this one is open. How are the chickies? Hey! <laughs> So I'm also cleaning all of this up because Andorra gets like her feet is like fed wet because she can eat it easier but then she makes it gross everywhere. She can see it looks a lot better. But look at me. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Let's see what Matt's reaction will be. He hasn't seen me yet. He's coming. 
Look. What happened? Well, I was cleaning the feet from Annie. I'm an Appalooza. Look at me. Yeah, that's it. But look, for now, this looks already a lot better. Now it needs to dry and then we can see what it's like. Okay, so it has been a few weeks further since we've done all of this. So by now we're in autumn. The season has changed. <laughs> it matters so behind the camera a bit. <laughs> but, well, we can still hear you. I'm feeling quirky yeah. and unique. You definitely are the, both of these things. I just wanted to do a walk around to finish everything up and you could see it. Um, I also finished everything in the tech room. You haven't even seen that too. And there's one other thing I'm super excited about that has arrived and we're using now. Um, but I'll show that at the end when we have finished the rest of the round. I feel like it's been a game changer. Oh yeah, that thing is I'm really, really happy with every single day. It is autumn now. So everything looks actually really pretty, so it doesn't matter for the video. I just have to start thinking about what we did to fix everything. I mean, we cleaned up most of the things that we cleaned up. I'm maybe not so clean anymore. Um, oh, it's still pretty good. Oh yeah, it's a lot better. But we had to fix the fence already again a few times. Hold on. Look, you haven't seen it either yet. There she is. What a beauty. Now in the wind, it won't be flying anywhere. But anyway, oh look, I found this the other day too. Yes, so we have to focus. Look. What is it? It's beautiful. Okay. Well. Okay. So come, come in, come in. Come girls. Woo. <laughs> okay, let's say hi to the horses quick. Thank you so much everybody also that watched the video with Andorra's last show. It's very sweet all the comments and it was a very special day. And if you haven't seen it yet, it is on my channel, so you can go see it. Hey, cheese! Oh. In the last few days when it was raining, they were wearing the rug. This winter but now, it's crazy. It all of a sudden is here. So all the fencing has been fixed everywhere, but it was open or a little bit too low maybe. So we made it all in the right like sizing and the, with new clips, let's say. And then we made here the little entrance. So we opened this up and then they have the field here. And they can also go here. And I'm thinking of maybe that I still want to make also an entrance in that field. So if they're in there, they can, we could also do the same system. The sunflowers are giving in, um, but they were really beautiful, like really red and really yellow. Have the red ones turned yellow or is this just different? No, no, no. Some came out yellow, some came out red. But they're giving in now, but Matt made a really nice bouquet yesterday. So to say, I'm a Mozart poetic. Or was that an artist? Okay, let's go. See here. It's like a little cottage garden around the, the ladder. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? I just love this arena and this place is just so peaceful. And I love riding here because you're just here like covered in like all the trees. You have all this beautiful lighting and then we have these beautiful flowers. And now we also have new number plates. Number plates, letters. Letters, oh yeah. Is that a car? <laughs> So yeah, that has, it's also very nice. Okay, now I'm excited to show you because you have seen parts of the tech room Let's because- the fun stuff. Yes, this is gonna be the best. Tell you there, come. Let's tell her to go. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this area is what I'm the most excited about. I really like this area and I wanted to change it up a little bit. I would like to change it like big, big, big things. Like I would really like to change it all in like nice wood or whatever. But for now, I just had to do it with small things. You have seen most of it, but not everything. A few things I'm so excited about. I'll open the door. Let's start with the clean stuff. It's already not as clean anymore because we have been using it a lot, almost daily. But the biggest difference has been, I think, this wall that you have cleaned. Um, and it's still a really good, like, clean color. This is wet now, um, but it was really good. We've got these new things, so everything nice and fresh. Um, then we got rid of one big thing. So what do you think? Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Can you twist them out how we would have them to dry? Yeah. What? Yeah, because I was first thinking in the middle, but then I couldn't like have it to the side. And if the second one does come and I want it, then I can always put it here next yeah. to it. But I like it kind of like this. You? Yeah, I like it. It's kind of nice, no? Yeah. I like this wood area. Yes, and then this one I made because I wanted something for these to put, put be put on. These ones I've wanted for so long and I ordered them at Cavalio in Germany. What are you doing? Oh, it's the best part of the lollies that come with the Always when you order with Cavalio. Oh, they are the best punches also. Um, then they come with like the little candies, which are always really Is good. More? Let's have a look at her. So. 
extend her cap. Oops, sucky day. All right, this is the thing I was so excited about, and I wanted for so long. I really hope they are really all I wanted. Oh, they are very pretty. They are like uh, room boxes, so I still need to put stuff in it. I just think they're too pretty to put stuff in. <laughs> but there's here like a little area to put like sprays and some brushes. And I really like it. But then I figured out after I got rid of all the other things that I didn't have a table anymore to put stuff on. So then I also got this to um, put these two on and I could sit on it. Finally, the kind of closet tables here. The one I was waiting for. <laughs> closet waiting table. For one more thing, but I might just do everything already. So only one thing I really don't like putting things together. But should we just have a quick look at what the color is like? Yeah. Right. Oh. That looks quite nice. There you go. Okay, and then we got it a lot nicer, like new things, like new baskets. Um, so here's for the brushes, here's some boots, there's, um, yeah, care products. And here's for the washing, and here's for the leather. So yeah, I think it works really well and it gives a lot more space. What do you think? Yeah, and it's, there's a lot less clutter also. Yes, what is that? Like less stuff. Yes, a lot less stuff. Jesus, do that neat. Oh, I don't want it. It looks like you're about to sneeze. <laughs> oh, I want, I'm not finished yet. Keep filming. Can you smell that? Are we all about to say yes? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, this thing I wanted for so long as well, and it changes everything. Beautiful machine, the hay gain. Always so excited to turn this thing on because the whole property smells like basically like tea or I don't know, it smells like the hay gain. Um, but for the people that don't know what a hay gain is, a hay gain is a steaming machine for the hay. So you put a lot of the hay in and then it will steam the hay and it will take out all the bacteria and the dust and it's just really, really healthy for them. And I have to say the horses love the hay that comes out of it. So I will open it up. It's wow, look at that. The drama. Isn't that beautiful? Now I've been actually like really really happy with it. So we have the hay game because it takes out all the dust out of the hay and it takes out all the bacteria and any fungus as well. So it is really good and it makes it super tasty. The funny thing with Chase is when we put this in a stable, he comes in into the stable, he starts eating the hay before he even eats the uh, hard feed. So... And he doesn't cough anymore also. No, yeah, it takes away for a lot of the horses that are coughing, like a horse shouldn't be coughing. And this is like so good, like a friend of mine has it because her horses were coughing so much. And since she has it, the horses like have had no issues anymore. Uh, now it just needs to cool down and then we put it in our new hay foragers, if you will. So what we have actually also changed inside the stable is the way we feed the hay because we now have the hay gain foragers that are these things. I will show you a bit more in a sec. We used to have the slow feeders hanging here and that was already quite okay but I just didn't really like about it that the horses will always have to pull like sideways and stuff like that and it always became a little bit of a mess. And these things are actually really really good. They don't move because we put sand in the bottom and what you do do like you usually open this and then you take this one out and then you can fill it with hay and then the horses just stand like this so they are still straight and you can fill it up with a lot of hay so i've been really really happy with this yeah they've yeah. been loving it and it's kept the stable so much cleaner a lot cleaner like there's almost no hay anyway and they eat a lot so what i always do smell the hay it's really good so i think we did quite some things it's always good to have kind of a summer cleanup and a change even though we're now in autumn it's nice to start autumn um, really fresh and with new things and it's kind of things that you uh, just enjoy every day like the hagen i enjoy every day having the tech room cleaned up i enjoy every day my horse is not escaping, I enjoy every day. So it was really good and I really hope you have enjoyed watching it as well. I think it's usually very satisfying when you're watching these kind of things. And thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs> I'll do the bye bye again. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.